Today we find ourselves at Legendary Studios, where Cax and I will play through a game of Twilight Struggle Red Sea, Conflict in the Horn of Africa. Come on in and check out this great game with us here today on Legendary Tactics. And welcome to Legendary Studios! I'm Cax, this is NATO, and we today are going through the Lunchbox series Twilight Struggle Red Sea Conflict in the Horn of Africa. We are super excited to take this uh, journey with you as we go through this game today. Yes, and this is your kind of your first game we played through a little bit. We played a lot of Twilight Struggle in uh, in past. We have indeed. In our past. So um, I have played the solo game, but this is actually my first two player game because I wanted to save it for you. We're going to give it a try. Right? Yeah, yeah. So. And apparently, if you, and if you know Twilight Struggle, you we're going to know this game so yes. there's there's a real upside to that yes and there isn't that there is a video um that i'm i'm putting out maybe out by this time which will actually teach you the differences between the uh the original game and this new uh mini version of twilight struggle yeah. so so a total of 14 turns Two turns, 14 cards. 14 cards! Yes. Two turns! Jeez! Yes. <laughs> so this will fly by. Yes, it'll fly by. Uh, really will. And one so. important thing while NATO is shuffling is uh, the China card is no more in this game, uh, but we do have Romanian autonomy. <laughs> yeah. Romanian yes. autonomy. So we'll be uh, that will be the main kind of yeah. equivalent of the China card? Basically, yeah. Yeah, and it's it's really funny because... Okay. the. the if you in my interview with Jason Matthews, we I asked him about that. Like, why is there a Romanian autonomy card in uh, in a, a game about the conflict in the Horn in Africa? So you have to watch that interview to see what why that card is. Uh, the uh, yes, why why it's the new we'll link card. down we'll below. Link down below. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so we start out with nine cards each. Okay, and, these and that is well the same. Shuffled. That's the same as Twilight Struggle. Uh, yeah, I believe. Yeah, nine. Yeah, yeah, for the late war, anyway. Yeah. Uh, what are we at? Five? Now, six, one thing as Nito's dealing, too, is that this game actually starts with the mid-war card. So we don't have that early war card phase <laughs> yes. uh, that Twilight does, because they jump right into the mid-war, and then uh, next round, I believe, is going to be late war, right? Yep. Mix it all uh, together. Yeah. There's only two turns. <laughs> so okay. so the first uh, step, if you, if you recall, is uh, choosing the uh, headline uh, card, which is always important. And, oh my gosh, what am I going to do here? So I think... Hmm. Now i got to ask you, not yes. knowing these cards, is there something like um, that US event where it cancels the headline event? Do I have to worry There's about that? There's a Soviet event that cancels the headline oh, event. Oh, well then I better look more US carefully one. at my own events. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. So Is there? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think I can... I think I can perhaps make this work here. I've got to... Okay. I am ready. So, um, yeah, the, the choice of headline, obviously, it's a very key um, part of the game, especially when you only get two headline cards this entire game. All so, right. All right. I so, got a pretty good one here, so let's flip it got? over here. I got uh, Detente. Detente. And I have U.S. Aid. Now, remind me on how who goes first here. So it's the it. highest ops... Card. Right. So I have two to your one, so I go first. All in right. the case of a tie, the U.S. player defaults first. first. So okay. U.S. aid, I get a, an operations point, and if played in the headline phase, um, I may also go first in action rounds. Oh, snap. All right. So, um, so I get to go first. And you also <coughs> get, you said there was a second bonus. And I get one operations point. One off, so right I'm off the off. To, Jeez. I think I'm going to put... Play into the new and an exciting strategic sea lanes. Okay, well, uh, my Dentante card here uh, it really does some damage. I get two military ops. Now, I wish you had military ops yes, already. It would have been good, me. but I'll, I'll take two. <laughs> and I'll also claim the Romanian autonomy card oh over boy. to my side. So oh right boy. away, things are, uh, things are shaping up here. But All you right. do get first player of the yes. day, eh? Yep, and uh, what's really funny is this is uh, pretty much a, the exact play I did in my in the solo playthrough that I did. Oh! So I I led off with U.S. Aid, and then follow up with Africa scoring. Oh! All right. Oh snap! And so if you look at Africa, I have presence. Unfortunately, you do not. Yes. And because I'm ahead of you in the strategic sea lanes, that's worth a victory point to me. So that's worth two. So that is worth two victory points. Okay. And I got it out of the way. <laughs> but that Excellent. does give you the option now. The Romanian Autonomy card uh, gives an extra op if you are behind in victory points. So it becomes a three up 
card, which is pretty valuable in pretty this powerful. game. There's a lot of pretty potent. A lot of two op cards yeah. in this game. Yeah. As you may have noticed. So, yes, go ahead. Okay. It is. Uh let's do this one here. Christ uh Cirrus Vance. Yes. Cirrus Vance. So yes. I get to randomly draw uh two cards from the US hand, or yep. one card if only one remains. Discard one and return any remaining cards. There, yeah, any, yep. So any remaining if cards. If the discarded event is a USSR event uh, associated, associated event, gain two VPs. So what's interesting about this event is you draw two random cards from my hand, you yes. discard one. But if you discard one that's a Soviet event, then you actually get victory points. Oh! Right? And look at this. <laughs> like, it couldn't have come better. Like, yes. literally, two Soviet events. So, yes. Now, now I which am one... probably... And to be going... honest, I'm happy to be rid of both of these events. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will probably... So I'm happy to give you the victory points in this See, case. here's the dilemma, because I really don't want you to uh, get the three ops. If the USSR, but that gives you USSR a realignment may make a real against every this is, country, yeah. each country in eight in Africa. So the F F five E S is or F five E F five E is delivered. So the USSR may make one re realignment roll against each country in Africa. Now, in this Currently, case, it only affects Ethiopia. But yeah, can get it, this one can be sticky. Um, uh, this one this here one is uh, if Ethiopia has USSR control, you get victory points. Otherwise, add. One influence and remove all my influence. Well, currently, so I this card would, if he played it, be a little more deadly to me because uh, it would be one realignment roll for a one op in Ethiopia, and he gets three ops in return. So out. <laughs> okay. And I will take two VPs as well. <laughs> all right. So two so VPs. Two victory points, and we are back to zero. Back to square one all here. All right. So now that is. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we are on to. Uh, action round two. I'm like, where are all, where are all my cards? Oh yeah, you uh, pulled one. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do one of my mitigation. This is the Dofar Rebellion. So if the USSR controls South Yemen, add one uh, Soviet influence in Oman and one other country. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna use take the ops first. I'm going to make sure that you're not controlling South Yemen. <laughs> so, there we are. Problem wash. solved. <laughs> That's mitigation for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. That is good. Um, well, let's go and take some countries here. Soviets, airlift, Cubans. Now, normally that's a pretty good event, I think, removing all yeah. U.S. influence from one country in Africa. I'm going to take it for the three ops, though, because mm. I'm going to go into South Yemen. Okay. I'm going to go into uh, Djibouti for two more. Djibouti. And... Uh, Start claiming some stuff nice. here. Let's okay. Get some. It's too bad the uh, Africa scoring card is already. Uh, I, know. Past, eh? I, know, I know. I know. I know. I know. We've been beginning nice. to gain control of some control in uh, in Africa there. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I am wondering about. Uh, this is a little bit tricky. Um, I think I'm going to use. I'm going to play Hero of the Crossing, but I'm going to just do the, a coup in Somalia, which okay. is a, a flashpoint country. I oh, boy! So that's a, a eight, eight minus four. four. So that gives, gives me one. A three swing, so oh, just two, yeah. three. So I get control. <clears throat> All right. It's gone. And um, that gives me a... a Your mill ops required? Mill ops right there. And I have to draw a card to see if DEFCON degrades. It does, in fact. It does degrade. go down by one to three. There we go. So now there's a unique win condition in this game, uh, where which is uh, uh, unusual in that um, if you if the African scoring card is played, now it's already been played, um, but if if you were to play it and you can and a, play, a power controls both flashpoint countries and more countries in Africa, yes, it's an auto win. Oh, so you're okay because Africa scoring card's already gone, but. Yeah. This would be an auto win situation for uh, for me as as the. Uh, is that because US. you have the two flashpoint countries? Yes. So if All you right. if you have both flashpoint countries under your control and you have um, more more countries in Africa. Well, let's try and change that with. Uh, we're going to play famine, but okay. we're going to use it for a two, two ops. Okay. Two up in Ethiopia. Ethiopia. I figured, I figured that was a bit vulnerable. A little bit. So let's see. Oh, <laughs> come on. So not as you. roll a one. 
So that's three. Knocks you right? out. Yep. So it just re knocks you out. That's probably the worst roll possible right there. It's... <laughs> well, the funny thing is, I can't get in there very now, easily. Now you're stuck. Yeah, it takes a couple turns to get over there. So, <clears throat> all right. So we are going to go there. I'm going to play um, Ogaden War, but I'm just going to do a straight up. Um, what am I going to do here? I think I'm just going to move. Just take. Uh, yeah, I'll take. No, you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to actually take Saudi Arabia. I'm just yeah. Worried about you. I'm worried about you cooing um, me right out of Kenya right away. So I'm going to make sure that that happens. Let's get this curtain while I can. It's the Yemeni presidential assassinations. Oh boy. So we are going to degrade DEFCON by one. Roll a one die on a four to six. <laughs> yeah. Good things happen, I think. You can control Yemen. Oh, what like is a, that? It's like a five. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let it slide. All right. Literally off the deck, off the so, table. <laughs> yeah, so you actually get plus one to the, your die roll anyway, because you get you control South Yemen. Okay. And you add sufficient Soviet influence to control Yemen. Take Yemen and oh, that is... Was there any VPs in that or no? No. Okay. No. That's uh, fine. Not okay. this time. Not this time. <laughs> Okay, so you have you should have four cards left, right? Five because I you went first. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's and I right. drew one away from you. Yes, you drew. So one you're away. playing everything this round. All right. Um, well, good luck to you. Yes, this is going to be interesting. I can hardly wait. This is going to be great. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm I'm going to have to play this for the uh, the lion falters. Ah. So uh, one. Soviet influence in Ethiopia. Uh, because it's not currently... And remove all my influence. Okay. Oh, <laughs> well played, hard. well played. Yeah, and now you're going to coup. <laughs> well, the DEF CON's two, right? Oh, so risky risk to play there. Is that. But what I will do is I'll take the two ops and I'll, I will take Kenya now because I've, I'm protected can. by DEF CON considerations. Right. So. All right. Um... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still learning these cards. Yeah, but, uh, so yeah, like it's it's a really so the the Middle East doesn't actually score until the late war, which is the second turn. So um, it's uh, it's one of those things where you start out maybe in in Africa, but you can't neglect the Middle East either because I don't like this coming. card, so I'm gonna space race it. It's okay. the victorious leaders add four U.S. influence in countries adjacent to countries where Ooh, uh, that like are that in one. U.S. Control, USSR controlled. So yeah, I let's like forget that one. that one. Yeah, okay. But we're gonna space it. The space race and uh, one oh, again, on. again. <laughs> I keep <laughs> looking that, that slide again. All right, all right, fine. <laughs> so this gives you the power to remove one influence from one country after the headline phase if I don't match, match me. You. All right, so, yes. good luck. Hope you don't. I will have to. I will have to do that. You know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Um, this is the derg, which gives more influence in Ethiopia. So I'm, I don't want that to happen. No. So I'm gonna space race it. Do the space race again, and I'm in. Oh darn! So we well, cancel out that power. You know what? Uh, NATO did tell me there was only one of these cards in the deck. I happen to get it. It's called the Apollo Suez Soyuz, Soyuz test, test project. project, and I advance one on the space track because I want to get ahead of NATO yeah. and I want two VPs. Yes, that's nicely so done. So we'll be jumping ahead for two there. Yes. Oh no, leave it on the U.S. side. Yeah, it's yeah, like you, would, you would love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right. So now it's my last uh, turn here, and um, I'm gonna. I'm going to just take the operations points, and I'm going to uh, move into Oman. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, terrible joke. I know. I know. All right. Uh, do we keep our cards? You have one, held, I'll one have, held card. I'm going to have two held do. cards. Oh, okay. Why do you... You shouldn't have two, I don't think. You, did, you didn't... Uh... I have three remaining in my hand here. Yeah, okay. Strange. Should I have only had two? Should I have two yes, left? Yes, well you should have, this should be your last card and you should have one held card, right? Yeah. So do we draw right, one, pick one? Pick one out. Randomly. All right, all right randomly okay. goes out. So now I can <laughs> okay. and, and at the end of this I'm gonna discard this last one? No, no, hold you hold the card. Yep. All right, hold the card. Unless it's a scoring card, you can't do that. Nope, yeah. that's right. Well, you can. Yeah. Lose. <laughs> yeah, <it's okay. laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, Indian Ocean, Zone yeah. of Peace. Score two VPs. All countries are treated as battlegrounds for the purpose of coup attempts for the remainder of this yes. turn. Are you gonna you know, Play the there's, event. there's a lot I'd like to get done, but I think uh, I could go into Sudan. Yeah, there's lots of options. It's funny. It's a, it's not a a big board, but there's lots of options for. I could go into Sudan here, and I can go and tie you. In. Actually, I can. Oh, Ethiopia. Do I have that now? Yes, you do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> 
Um, and I can also go and tie you in the strategic lanes, which I kind of yep. like that idea too. All right, good. Let's do that. And I'm going to hold back this last great card here. Okay. I do not want to lose. So move to turn two. Uh, halfway point. through the game, uh, folks. We're yes. already halfway through. <laughs> now we're shuffling in mid late war. Shuffling in the late wars. Yeah, shuffle them all together. All right. All right, and you are up by And I still two. have the Romanian we, autonomy card here. Yeah. So that one is if, if uh, you hang on to it till the end of the until the end of the game, which is the end of this next turn. Seven yeah. cards from now, yeah. eight cards from now. Um then uh, you get a victory point. So And we're doing um, nine no we both got our required military ops, so that is good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I have nine here. Yeah, so you just Draw and up one to more to you. Yep. Okay, and that's that. <laughs> so that's good. All right. Oh Let's boy. No here. whites. No whites here. Oh boy. A lot of whites. <laughs> okay. Yeah, lots of. Uh... Lots of it's red funny on your because side? the um, the way the late war works, you don't really get to see a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, the cards here. Um, hmm. Uh, it's just interesting because you, the late war cards you don't actually get to uh, to see. So is the coup often. attack? Is coup currently I mean. at? Um, so three? the Defcon is at three. Mm -hmm. So you cannot coup or realign in the Middle East. That is off limits, and uh, I guess battlegrounds are okay, but and flashpoints are potentially okay as well. So, okay. Oh, we have to pick a headline event. Of yes, course, headline. Of course. Of course. Um, oh, all right. Let's do this one right here. You know what? I'm going to change it up. <laughs> no, love I got it. one here. Think, got, think, got, got a good one. Here. Got a real good one. I think this one's going to be a showstopper. <clears throat> Our showstopper. Show right, what do we got? OAU. OAU, and, and I have the events, events of 86. 86. It was a good. Right. It was a very good year. It was. <laughs> All right. So score about one victory point if South Yemen is USSR controlled. Oh, oh it, it is. is. Dude, darn it. And then remove USSR influence in the Middle East equal to the number of US controlled region. Uh, so I'm just going to take these two influence away. Oh, and I gain. Food. All right. Control. So mine is discard an event associated with your opponent and roll a die. Yeah, on a four to six, use the discarded cards operation value this operation round. Roll one to three, there's no operations. Oh, that's kind of that's actually a decent. Uh, oh no, may not be played during the headline phase. Oh, oh RTC. Boy. Read the card. RTC. So well, then I'll do this one. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> to be fair, this first. is this is two ops and would have gone. I would have gone first anyway. anyway so USSR draws two cards and then discards two cards. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was going to say, that uh, card's pretty good headline. <laughs> it is, except when you draw two more. <laughs> yes. And then discard two cards. That's a nice uh, headline, actually, because it cycles the cards through, um, obviously, and helps out. And uh, the other, th the neat thing about this game, it's, it does feel like Twilight Struggle. You know, you still, you've still got a lot of the same decisions, um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's really, really uh, well organized that way. So it's uh, it just feels like it is Twilight Struggle, just a lot shorter. <laughs> so, all right. Sorry about that. I That's am okay. doing some deep thinking. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of. Uh, oh, I can show yeah. these or not? Yeah, yeah. It was so discarded. we got Centcom and Diego oh, Garcia. Oh, Diego Garcia. Gonzo. Yeah, Diego Garcia. Yeah. So those are out. Diego Garcia is great. All right. Uh, who goes first now? Uh, you do this time. All right. So uh, I, now I'm going to play that that uh, that OAU card. Mm -hmm. And I can discard an event associated with uh, one of your yes. events. <clears throat> and roll the die. So, jeez. So what happens so here? It's a 50-50. You discard my event card. Mm -hmm. And it's 50-50 chance. Either you get no operation or you get to use my operations points. Oh, okay. So, 50-50 though. Could be nothing. Could be everything. Could be everything. <laughs> um, and you go last this round, so let's go this route here with the Carter Doctrine. Oh, that's a four ops. I know. That's a four ops. So, what am I looking for okay, here? Okay, you're looking for a four to six four in to order six. to actually play it. Five, okay. yes! All right. So that is four, four ops. ops on the board. That is That is powerful. helpful. Yes. So let's go into Egypt for two. 
Okay. Sudan is already. Oh yeah, that's for already yours. Yeah. Jeez. Now uh, Egypt counts as a battleground for both sides. For both sides. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Okay, and then we're going to go into, that's one, two. <laughs> it's a tough call. You got it's so many ops to call. worry about. Tough call. Actually, it's you know what, you know what I'm almost wondering here is, um, I can't coup in the Middle East, can no, I? No, and no realignments allowed either. And no realignments <coughs> allowed yeah. either. And you so, have strong control in the Middle East. I'm working on it. No, you do. You, you don't have to work <laughs> on anything. You've already got it. Uh, but let's... Uh, are coup attempts allowed in, say, Yemen? No, not uh, not currently. No, not currently. Point where it nothing, is. nothing. <clears throat> not at the moment. At all. Yeah. Zero attempts. Okay. Zero. Sorry. I gotta, I'm, okay. really, I'm really puzzling this one out. Um, let's yeah, go for... Uh, this, I gotta, is I gotta, tough, this is a tough call. I gotta fight you for for Yemen here. Cost, actually, ah, or the strategic ceilings. <laughs> the decisions of Twilight Struggle. All right, oh, let's okay. go with Yemen here. Let's fight. Oh, you for interesting. It. Okay, gotta keep oh, you at bay a little bit here. Okay, all right, go ahead. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say Mengistu Haile Mariam. Uh, the USSR may immediately play any U.S. associated card in their hand as if the event were associated with the USSR. Reverse U.S. and USSR on any pertinent text event text. So that's potentially powerful. So in other words, the USSR may designate one role, right? So you can flip an event from US to USSR. Do I get that at any and point? you can play immediately after I take my So I can take here. I can take that. And just flip the, the US and USSR in the event text. I think that's that's crazy overpowered, but so I can play I a US of, a US event right now. Yes. And that it will, will benefit say US, me. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna do my coup. Five on Egypt. Okay, hold on a second. Do, oh, you want me to play first or second? This is important. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll first. Okay. So I'm going to go, uh, if you want to put one influence here. I only, I didn't roll that well, but okay. All right. I don't know if that was a good move, but I'm also trying to bring down DEFCON as well, so. All right. All right. Uh, here, here we go. Situation. <laughs> I'm going to play Afghanistan invaded for the USSR. Oh, wow. So, uh, presidential directive is canceled. No longer playable. So, pre that's presidential directive 30. So, that 30. is that is a an event card. Yep. So, um, that is no longer deck, playable. But all further USSR... So, you, US, US operation US operations are minus one, one to their value. value to a miss. So, it's like the uh, Red Scare uh, purge, purge card, card yep. basically. So okay. you, you help me play the so purge card on yourself. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> right. oh, Was man. looking That's... for a way to mitigate that one? Found it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, geez. Now, one question I did have. I'm level two on the space race. What's level three get me here? Draw one card and add three VP. Worth it to go for the space race. Um, what do I need to discard? It takes a three ops. Uh, say again? Uh, the space so you need race. three ops, roll one to four, and then you draw one card and score three VP. Cost of three points. ops, which yeah. I do have, so I'm going to space that. Oh, jeez, you had a lot of my events. I had a ton of your events, <laughs> okay. and I've got more yet. <laughs> oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> so we're going to roll here. Three, oh, got nice. it! nice. So three Excellent. victory points, and draw a card. And draw a card. Don't worry. It takes Another U.S. event. <laughs> All right. I'm fine with it. I'm I'll fine bet with you it. are. <laughs> Absolutely fine with it. Unbelievable. All right. So um, what are we doing next? Well, the Presidential Directive 30 card happens to be canceled by... Oh, you had it. <laughs> I Unbelievable. Had it. So I'm going to safely play that now. And I'm going to boost up uh, South Yemen. And uh, I'll boost up the strategic sea lanes, I guess. Okay, I guess. Oh, yeah, I, I guess. guess. I guess I'll just play into that one. <laughs> <laughs> no clue why I do it. No, but... no, just, you know. <laughs> just randomly feel like it. <laughs> did you take one from Egypt? Yes, that was my coup. With oh. that, with that so I did reduce you a bit there. But uh, okay. I was not. Now it's. DEFCON is at two, so I can't coup the battlegrounds. I like this one here. Uh, remove a total of two U.S. influence in the Middle East. Oh, painful. Let's get rid of that fella there. Let's get rid of... Um... You know what? Let's just get you rid of Yemen. I'm tired of this nonsense. 
Jeez. Yeah, we're going to just get you right out of there. These events are all over the place. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, oh, now hold on a second. We have to remember your <laughs> minus yep, one, too. minus one, yep. Okay. Oh, I haven't forgotten. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Don't worry. All right. Let's see here. So I'm going to... Now, what turn are we on? We're on <clears> turn <throat> three. three oh, yes. boy, it feels like forever. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, oh, man, this is a tough call. Um, I feel like I'm doing okay. I'm only at a plus four, <laughs> but... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to score the Middle East. Oh, right. got it. Got gotcha. you. So, Flipped it just in time. It's not the best time, but not the worst. we both have presence. I have a um, battleground. I have the strategic sea lane control, so that's where it's just two points to me, but... I just feel like that situation is going to slide out of control, so I better, uh, you know, better deal with it now. Okay, so we are at round four. All right. Um, it, we are the world. Yes. If there are any countries with famine markers, uh, plus one VP and add two influence. There are not famine markers oh. on the board. <clears throat> okay. Irrelevant event. I will just... One. Go awesome. ahead and uh, retake Egypt here. Okay. All right. Interesting. Okay. So we are... Jeez, this is a bit tricky here. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to play Separatists. Okay. Separatist adds... A sufficient influence in one non-battleground country to equal your opponent's influence. So I'm going to do that with Yemen. There we go. Really pushing. Okay, well. Right. Um, Three cards left each. So this is uh, the mm -hmm. Sicalis. Add one USSR influence to strategic sea lanes for Se every Seychelles. Middle Eastern Seychelles. Yeah. yeah. So add one U Soviet influence to to strategic inf uh, sea lanes for every Middle Eastern country without US influence. So that's only one. Yeah. Or I just take the two ops <laughs> and take Yemen back. That's yeah. That's kind of what I'm. Is that too? <laughs> leaning towards yeah. right now. Uh, really jamming me up there. Madagascar is wide open, NATO. I don't. know, I know. So. How many. Do we have two plays left? No, you. I have. I've got three plays left. You have two plays how left. How do I have. How, how will I have no cards? Now, this is weird. Now I have no cards left. Did you discard one that. Oh, yeah, you played one. I played a card event. Extra one. one of your events. Yes. yes you oh. play that. Yeah, so you have to play those cards. I know. They're all going That's out. That's what I love all right, to hear. All right. All right. It's fine. It's fine. I, I, can, I can mitigate. I can mitigate. Um, Jeez. <clears throat> this is really, really tricky. Okay. So I'm going to... Um, okay. I'm going to go and I'm going to... Not any any good spot. I mean, I could take Madagascar, but it doesn't really help me all that much. <clears throat> um, Gives you another... I think, it, like as as ridiculous as it sounds, I think it's actually better to break up South Yemen. <sighs> at least it gives me a bit. I mean, I don't know. It's not. I don't know if that's a great move actually, because I feel like oh, I really got. I had a couple of really bad events that really. It could have been a great turn for me, only the events didn't. <laughs> the way the events played out, it was uh, ended up being a lot worse. I am going to play yep. Daniel Arab Moy, and thank goodness he didn't <laughs> stack it in Kenya because I would have been oh, in boy. big doo doo. It would have been a game ender, actually, I believe, wow. because you could have ruined the DefCon. Oh wow! Improve your yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. Yes, yeah. That you was... could ruin DefCon, and uh, <laughs> luckily I am able to go in to Kenya for, with one up. No, if the U.S. controls, oh, and which I you see, will yes. not control because I'm going in. But with one otherwise, up. add two U.S. influence, so I still get that influence. Back. You get it back, but, but uh, yes, you... I mitigated a <laughs> near disaster, <laughs> shall we say? Was, yeah, that card, Daniel Arapmoy. Yes, really yes, yes, yes. Jeez. Okay. And I believe it is the second last play to you. <laughs> All right. This is very exciting. We're getting down to brass oh, tacks man. here. I can hardly wait to see how this turns out. Okay. Um, I am wondering, because uh, I don't want you to have this event. 
Oh yeah, because I, yeah, so you know what? I think I've been uh, forgotten this actually. Did you? I was wondering. I was Afghanistan maybe... invaded. I yes. forgot to reduce my ops by one. We won't forget now though. I won't forget now. <laughs> so you know what? If that's the case, I'm going to play this card uh, here, which is Kenya joins Rapid Deployment Force. It is a one-off card. Cannot be reduced uh, to be worse than one. <laughs> and I'm going to take South Yemen from you. Oh, interesting. Right. Interesting, interesting. And now you get the last the last play, the last play of, of the of game the, of your, no, of my turn. Of your turn. All right. <laughs> so let's uh oh boy. That was interesting. Yeah. Um let's put into the I've got Albano Stalinist Al Economics. Albano Stalinist. There economics. it is. <laughs> All right. So for the remainder of the turn, you get minus one operations. Uh, but I'll I'll take the I'll take yeah. the event first. And okay. Then, I mean, I'll take the actions take the, first. Yeah. yeah take, the, the, yeah, take the yeah, event yeah, first. Why not? Why not take the event first? Uh, and let's go into the strategic lanes here. Oh boy. I'm gonna bump that up to a yes. three and a two. So just okay. put a little pressure on there. Make you have to yeah. dally with that if you wish. And it is the last card of the game. Uh, T-62s and Kalishnikovs, which is a three ops. Well you said, can, by the way. You know what? Well said. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You can take an extra plus one to your operations points for the remainder of the, oh, remainder of the game. Your I'll kindness even, overwhelms me. Turn. Oh, it just happens to be my last part of the game. So, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to take my opportunity to pass you right back on the strategic sea lanes. Okay. And... That is the game. Alrighty, so we will see how so this turns let's see out here. How this turns out. So we have, uh, first of all, we'll pull out the Africa scoring card. So if I look at Africa, um, there is we both have presence, um, but we have tied in battlegrounds, and so uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think that that is uh, a wash. A draw. Actually. Yeah. A pure draw. A pure draw. Okay. So Middle East scoring. Um, which was in here someplace. So the Middle East scoring has, <clears throat> all right, so we are looking at, so presence. We both have presence. Egypt. And you have, Saudi. Yeah, so you have, uh, yeah, that control of Egypt actually really changed it's, changed the yeah. game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that, uh, you know, because it's a battleground in both uh, regions, it's really powerful. It's good, nice. Good job getting up there. So uh, because, um, you have a non-battleground. It, it looks like a wash to me, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. We tie in the battleground. I get one point for the lead in the strategic sea lanes. Okay. And I get and one you point, get one point for, for the Romanian, Romanian autonomy. autonomy card. And so which we means that where whoop, it is. Whoop, and you win. Cax pulls that out. Oh, good, good, well played. Well played. Yeah, yes, yeah, great indeed. game. So... That yep. was our lunchbox game of Red Sea Conflict in the Horn of, Se of Africa. <laughs> Red that Sea Conflict a, in the Horn of Africa. That is a mouthful. That <laughs> it is, is a mouthful. mouthful. <laughs> anyway, but we're, uh, yes. Look for a review. We'll be coming out with a review. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, that'll be awesome. And, and uh, yeah, I know we made a couple mistakes, but I think maybe the best man won this time. I have I'll a feeling. Like, this time, oh, right? boy. So, that is that's great. All right. All right. <laughs> and, I let him win. Anyway, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. This has been Legendary Tactics. Ha, 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 ha.